Cristiano Ronaldo's comments on Man United return as today marks transfer anniversary. How time flies. 18 years ago, Manchester United lost David Beckham to Real Madrid, sending shockwaves around the world in the process. And they then signed an unknown Cristiano Ronaldo, with the Portugal international going on to make history. United chose to sell Beckham after Sir Alex Ferguson believed the winger had grown too big for his boots. And, after missing out on Ronaldinho, the club swooped for Ronaldo after he terrorized them in a pre-season friendly with Sporting Lisbon. It took Ronaldo a little time to adjust to life in England, with the Juventus star accused of being too flashy. But he ended up becoming a superstar, winning three Premier League titles on the spin as well as the Champions League crown in 2008. United sold Ronaldo to Madrid in 2009, but, over the years, he's been linked with a blockbuster return. So Express Sport will now take a look at everything the Portugal international has had to say about potentially coming back. Think you know sport? Test your sporting knowledge with our tricky quiz Ronaldo was heavily linked with a move away from Real Madrid back in the summer of 2014. He'd fired the club to Champions League glory that summer and he admitted that he loved Manchester, saying, some players I am still in contact with because when I was there I created a good relationship with everybody, not just the players, all the staff around. And it was like my second family there too, so I'll not forget that the people treat me well. I'll not forget. I love Manchester, to be back, I never know, you never know. Of course I'm happy at Real Madrid, it's my home, it's my club, but Manchester treat me unbelievable, so we never know. Don't miss Man United set Kane Price by Tottenham Chief Levy convinced Barcelona's strong eye with Ronaldo and two other signings Arsenal's amazing squad. If Edu seals six more deals that same year, Ronaldo admitted that he wished to return to United in the future. I love Manchester, he said. Everyone knows that. Manchester is in my heart. The supporters are amazing, and I wish I can come back one day. Louis van Gaal was at the helm at the time of those comments, but the Dutchman didn't want Ronaldo back. Instead, he focused on landing the likes of Robert Lewandowski, Thomas Muller and Mats Hummels, only to miss out on all three. When Ronaldo was asked about returning to United in the summer transfer window of 2017, he insisted nothing was impossible. Nothing is impossible, he said. In another interview, published around the same time, Ronaldo also praised United fans for not booing him, unlike Real Madrid's supporters. I don't like it, and it's not normal that they whistle you in your own stadium. I just don't like it, he said. It's not correct. And when you are on a difficult run that is when you need extra support from outside not less. Sometimes we don't have it. I spent a lot of years at Manchester United, and it never happened to me. Not even once. Maybe England is a case apart, the mentality is different. When United signed Ronaldo, he wanted to wear the number 28 jersey. But, after talking to Ferguson, he then took number 7 instead. At the beginning of my career in Manchester. I remember, when I signed for Manchester, I arrived at the club and I asked for number 28 because it was the number I used at Sporting, he said. Sir Alex Ferguson said to me, no, you're not going to wear 28, you're going to use number 7.